Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing RPCS3 version 0.0.3 alpha on the G4560, Ryzen 3 1200 and Ryzen 7 1700 using a GTX 1050 Ti and a GTX 1060 on the Ryzen 7 system. To skip down of those sections of the video, check the description below and if you enjoy the content and want to support the channel directly, there are Humble and Amazon affiliate links down in the description as well. So RPCS3 0.0.3 0.3 I'll be doing 4k since well the developers of this emulator recently just added a resolution scale option which means that you can go over the native resolution of the game you might be asking yourself why am I doing this it's because rpcs3 is cpu bound it uses the CPU for pretty much everything. So the developers just decided to add the resolution scale option so they can put some stuff on the GPU side since RPCS3 used very little GPU. So by cranking up the resolution to 4K, you put some stress on the GPU. So we are using our systems more. So well, at 4K, the GPU usage was around 40%, sometimes with spikes to 70% on the 1050Ti. But if I didn't use the resolution scale option, it was like 20% usage on the GPU. So the limiting factor here, just for you to know, will be the CPU. And I'm going to use Vulkan since the developers are just saying that it runs better with that. So I'm using configurations that I found out there and run the best for me. So this was the best performance I could get with what I found on the internet. And other things to keep in mind, you'll see that on the log of RPCS3, it says RSX new program compiled successfully. It means that it's compiling the shaders. I think they are the shaders or something like that. When it compiles that, it saves it to your hard drive. So next time you run the game, it will run better. So when it compiles that stuff, it just keeps it on the hard drive. Next time you load the game, it will preload all that stuff that it compiled, the shaders and all that kind of stuff. So the game will run better overall. And that's what I did here. I just run the level three or four times before starting the recording, run the game again. So it doesn't have to load that stuff while I'm playing, it's just preloaded beforehand. So this should be the best performance that you can get. The first time that you run the game will run awful, but once it starts compiling, it preloads it before running the game. Unfortunately, you cannot find those files on the internet, you had to make them yourself by playing the game before. And well, the G4560 had a lot of trouble hitting 30 frames per second, it was below 20 most of the time, on the Boletarian Palace, which is a big map in the game. I saw a ton of people just testing the tutorial, the tutorial is not demanding at all compared with the Boletarian Palace, since that's a much smaller level. But I tested the tutorial anyway after the palace, if you want to see a significant difference in performance. Then on the Ryzen 3, I saw better performance overall. It had higher frame rates, less frame skips, less audio bugs, because it was running better. But there were still drops below 20 frames per second to be expected. And finally on the Ryzen 7 1700, it was better performance than the Ryzen 3, not by much, but it was better performance. And I use a 1060 with the Ryzen 7, doesn't make much of a difference. This is CPU bound, not GPU bound. But you'll see that on the Ryzen 7, it's not using the whole CPU, it's using like 30% max. That's because RPCS3 seems to be using 4 or 5 threads at the most. So my recommendation, if you want to have the best experience, is to have uh, an Intel CPU, an Intel CPU with four or six cores, if possible, and high clock speeds. So if you have a modern overclockable i7 or i5, you should be fine, since those have very high single threaded performance, and you can increase that by cranking up the clock speed. So that should really help you out on performance here. That seems to be what the emulator just prioritizes to get better performance, very high single threaded performance. This is still an alpha stage, very early on development, so manage your expectations. Of course, this is CPU bound now, but maybe they develop something to use the GPU more instead of the CPU. This just needs more time. So if you want this to be quicker here or just be better, consider supporting the developers of RPCS3 on Patreon. Just follow the link down in the description. But yeah, as time goes by, this should improve quite a bit if they keep developing on RPCS3. So let's hope that in the future I can make another video and run this at 30 frames per second constant. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you keep enjoying the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.